Francina, welcome, welcome back. This video will be a Vera Bradley haul. Not a big one, but it's from the online outlet store. I got a couple things, um, mostly for me, but I got something for a friend as well. So let's start with that piece. I actually got this as a gift for a buddy. And I won't say who, so if they're watching, they don't know. <laughs> but these are the stainless steel wine tumblers. This one is in Beach Treasure, so this is an outlet style. Um, but they do have this on both sides, the retail and the outlet. Honestly, I, I haven't put them side by side yet to figure out what's what. But this one is a very nautical, obviously it's the beach stuff, beach treasures, go figure. So there's little mermaid tails in it. That one's pink, there's a teal colored one there. You've got seashells, um, you've got surfboards, crabs, you've got sand dollars, you've got umbrellas, rainbows beach chairs, it's just very nautical, very cool. Now, these are a double walled, so you can put cold drinks, hot drinks. In my RV, I have one of these, it's my primary coffee cup. It's a different pattern, obviously, but um, anyways, and the lid just pops off, and it has the slide lock lids. So it's, it's a wine tumbler by name, but you can use it for anything, you know, and it comes with the care instructions and whatever so it's packaged in a plastic bag inside a bubble wrap inside a box so I'm gonna put that back in there right now until I wash it and put it in my cupboard but I got two of them I got two of that one one for me and one for my buddy she's my RV buddy we camp all the time together and um, she has one of the first ones that ever came out I want to say it was rainforest tropical rainforest anyways it's the pink one and I do too, because I got one for both of us at that time. And this one is hanging around purple, 12 ounces, double walled. You gotta hand wash them, but I don't care about that. So now I kind of have a whole mixed set of these. I have um, a variety of them. I, I, I think five or six of them now. That's enough. That's too many really, but <laughs> that's okay. If you're gonna have mugs, let them be pretty mugs. And I really like that they could be hot or cold, honestly. Now, I don't know if they're advertised that way, but I can tell you from personal experience, they work just fine for both. All right, I never left anything in it long enough to worry about melting or cooling off, but there you go. Okay, so this item is the Medium Travel Cosmetic. Obviously, the pattern is Sunny Medallion. Um, to me, these kind of look like pickleballs, even though they don't, but this is for my pickleball bag and or just general happy colors. It is a nice triangular shape, so larger on the bottom, comes to a zipper at the top. It has kind of a curved top. Like I said, this is the medium. I do have the larger one, which is in the lightened up material, but there you can kind of see it expanded a little bit. Um, but it is plastic lined with a solid interior, so just really great multi-use. You can use it for crafts, for pens and pencils, crayons, whatever. Um, you can use it for cosmetics. I am using it as a miscellaneous pouch in this case. Um, I have the larger one in the Lighten Up and I have the Lunch Bunch. And those two things are in my pickleball bag. I know, pickleball's on my brain all the time. I just came from there. <laughs> um, but there is a need in this bag for a small pouch. It doesn't have to be this big, but this is what I went with. Um, where I have just some sort of my little mini first aid kit, like my sporty kit. It has some Volterra in, it has my ankle wraps, it has some K KT tape, you know, just whatever you need. But, um, so this is what it's gonna be used for. It's gonna join its matchy matchy friends inside the pickleball bag. Um, I'll put a link here for what's in my bag if you wanna see that bag, um, but there you go. And then the last item I got is generic travel or whatever, but also pickleball. Go figure. Um, this is the utility travel bag in Plaza Tile. I have this same bag in Java Navy Camo because these are my two pickleball patterns. And I say that because my very first paddle I ever bought when I first started playing almost two years ago now. Gosh, I can't believe it's been that long already. Almost two years. Um, it was Java Navy Camo and it was the Vera Bradley Battle Paddle. So it has a beautiful pattern on it. 
and it has the matching cover. You'll see in a second the Plaza Tile one, and that was my second one. And they sold out so quick. They came and they went. There was only, I think, three patterns. I have two of them. I don't have the third one. Um, but if they came out again, I would buy it again, probably, depending on the pattern. Although, they're not... Um, let me rephrase that. They are US APA approved, so technically you can play a tournament with them. I did play my very first tournament ever and we took silver, which was awesome. Um, but the second tournament I played in, they disqualified my paddle because it didn't have the US APA stamp on the face of it. And I, I showed them on the website that it is approved, it's blah, blah, blah. And they said, well, that's not our website. And they said, Anyways, it doesn't have the model number stamped on the paddle face. And I said, sure it does. It's Vera Bradley. It says it right there. Um, but they didn't accept that. So um, I had to borrow a paddle that day. Ended up taking fourth, which is okay. But um, long story short, I now have four paddles, two Vera and two Selkirk. So a tournament ready no matter what. Uh, not that it's about tournaments, to be clear. But enough about all of that. This is for my matchy matchy setup for that um, and I'll go through that in a little bit um, but let's look at this bag so the utility travel bag was on sale it was a really good deal so I went ahead and got the second one uh, I had bought the first one not sure if I would use it for that kind of thing but because this pickleball bag which is great for a day-to-day -day, um, just go to the park and play um, but it's not great for any longer thing like a tournament day or whatever. And sometimes you just want to have some extra things. Or sometimes I'm going to pickleball from something else and I need to bring a change of clothes. Stuff like that. Those, those kind of reasons I went ahead and got this extra bag. And it doesn't have to match. But hello, it's Zena. I overdo everything. And I like to matchy-matchy sometimes. So, this bag is a nice bag. It is... If you're familiar with the Weekender and the Grand Traveler, it's more of a Grand Traveler size, but more of a Weekender configuration. But it's neither, but it's it's kind of in that realm. Uh, it has two nice handles that are padded, you know, they're quilted. And on one of them, here it is right here, it actually has another strap, little loops sort of sewn on there. Um, that you can clip things onto if you want, and it goes all the way around, so you can clip things on the front or back of that strap. I'm not sure what it's intended for, but certainly is a great place to put your keys or clip your hand sanitizer or whatever onto that. Um, it does also have side pockets, which are pretty generously sized, so big cargo pocket on both sides of the bag. On this side, it's just a pocket, and on this side, it has a... Um, seat belt strap there that you can tighten up that pocket so if you put something that's maybe a little narrow or water bottle or something you can cinch it down a little bit um, also you can unclip that so you can clip other things onto the bag like I don't know what but you could like clip your baseball cap through there something like that if you wanted it has a little pattern tab on the end and just a plastic clip so a couple different ways you could use that pocket on the back, there are no pockets, but there is a very robust trolley sleeve. It's so, so long, you can almost not even put my arm all the way through. So it, it's just a big trolley sleeve. I did seriously consider just hand sewing the bottom here. So I'm not skilled enough to put a zipper down there, which would be the optimum solution. To make that a usable pocket, because it's a nice big slip pocket, so I may do that in the future, but for now, I, it's just kind of not useful for me. This is not the kind of bag that I personally will take traveling and need of a trolley sleeve, so that's why I would not be afraid to sew it closed. This is just me, how I would use the bag. It does have two zipper sections. We'll come back to those in a sec. Let's start front to back with actual pockets. So this front pocket does have a clip latch on it. So. It's kind of like the old style messenger bags. It has that kind of clip closure. I really honestly prefer that this just had a magnetic closure, but it's okay. It's utility. That's the whole thing. They do things with the fixtures and fittings, but it is just a big pocket. You can see where it goes right here, kind of this middle two thirds of the bag. So it goes right there. You can kind of see, and it has a good finger, finger and a half depth to it. So. 
you can see how much gusset that has there. So yeah, about a finger and a half thickness to it. So it's a good size pocket, very easily accessible. If you're gonna get in and out of it a lot, I would just leave it unclipped, but it is nice to have a little closure on there of some kind. All right, um, in the two main things, you have the main pouch and then you have this back pouch. Let's talk about the back one first. It zips all the way across. I think this is intended to be like the tech pouch, if you will. It's padded just by virtue of the material being quilted and padded, honestly. This one has an extra layer of padding because that trolley sleeve is actually padded as well. And then this one is just actually a double layer of fabric for the interior from this to the main compartment. So this side of it is not actually padded. Like, you see me poke my finger. It's just, you can't see through it, but it's just fabric, two layers of fabric. So not truly a padded compartment, but if your tech is in a, um, like a tech sleeve, you can probably put that whole thing right into here. This is a very big pocket. Thickness wise, you, you can't see it on the outside, but it's about that deep of a pocket. So you have a good amount of space in there. All right, and then the main compartment, you have the removable adjustable seatbelt strap for the crossbody shoulder thing. It does have metal fittings here, which is good. It has this fabric colored thing leading to those metal fittings. And then there's your adjustable strap, which is, I think metal also. Yeah, that's also metal. And then it has the little slide thing to keep the excess kind of put together. So there you go. The only thing is, I think these types of fittings, even though they're metal, in my experience, I have not tried these, obviously these ones, but this little piece right there where the hook, the loop comes out, sometimes that breaks right there. That's the point of failure. So then you have no clip. I'm hoping these will be pretty durable. I mean, they are metal and it does have a robust knot on the back. So hopefully if I take care of it, it will take care of me kind of a thing. But how these fit on is on the sides of your bag, this is utility style type thing. It doesn't have metal fittings. It has a fabric loop. See that right there? And so that's where you would clip on that extra strap. Now this loop is fairly robustly secured. It does have a double seam on it, so it should be fairly durable, but even so, it's fabric on fabric. So that could be a potential weak point based on the fact that it is a big bag and it, you could really potentially weigh it down. So if you're carrying it by the shoulder strap and it's way weighed down, I would just be a little careful because I would hate to see you rip your bag there. Again, I haven't tested that. I don't travel with that heavy weight, whatnot, but it could happen, so take care. Use due caution. Inside is very simple, very utility. It has just two mesh elastic compartments there. But look at the size of this bag in totality. It is a giant bag. It's a very large travel bag. Um, so there you go. And you get a good look at the pattern there. Just a geometric plaza tile. And it's gray with blue, pink, and yellow, and white. Pretty simple and straightforward. But, all right. So that bag, the utility travel bag, is going to supplement this. Now, this stuff is not new. This stuff I already had. I'm just going to share it for perspective real quick why I needed the bigger bag. So this bag is a great size. It's a utility backpack, I think it was called. It's great. It's a good size. It has zipper pockets on both sides, zipper pocket in the front. This has some organization, if I remember right. I haven't looked at this in a while because I've been using my other bag. Oh, look, there's my chapstick I've been looking for. <laughs> Yay. That's funny. Um, inside it has a couple slips and a zipper pocket. Pretty straightforward. It's got the um, cinches on the side, so you could cinch it down that way. You also, just like the utility tote, can disconnect that, hook things on, hook it that way. The main compartment here has the flap closure with the clip there as well, but it also has, I don't know if you saw it when I was opening it, has the cinch with the slide lock, which is nice. So you open that up and I have my pickleball paddle. So this is my second paddle. This is plaza tile, obviously, and there's the pattern. Now I think this one is interesting. It doesn't bother me too much, but it's interesting because the pattern is, this is the same pattern. 
but for some reason they did different colors now I don't know if that was fabrication limitations or whatever obviously it's a different scale but that's okay it is the same pattern but but I love it and the paddle is great I really like these paddles very nice and there's the thing battle paddle so when you look at it this is what I was talking about Vera Bradley that's the model number right there <laughs> the pattern itself is pretty definitive um, and then these little tags, I got these from my paddle, P-A-D-L, my paddle, and it's my name tag. So it has Xena, and on the back it says Easy Tiger. And this has nothing to do with Vera or my paddle specifically, but I get, sometimes I get a little, ah! and if I get a little too crazy and I need to dial it back, I actually will look at my paddle and flip it over to the Easy Tiger side to consciously, mentally say, okay, pull it back. And if I'm on that side and I need to amp it up, I flip it up, dial it up to Xena. Xena! So, anyways, a little mental game I play with myself. So now people who are playing with me, and if I do something one side of that or the other, they'll go, hey, Xena, flip the paddle. Yeah, it's kind of funny. Um, but there you go. So the paddle, and it fits right in there, but it doesn't close with that um, on there. There is a big slip right here. So when I'm just setting it, I just throw the paddle right in there in that slip part all by itself um yeah just knowing that obviously it's not going to close so i put it over to the side i can close it like that so going to and from i can do that in here i have a few other things though so sticky with the matchy matchy i have a cord organizer and again i've showed these before but i didn't have everything all at once so inside you have the slip the zip and the snap loop there you've got a couple of elastics on the other side you have two elastic pouches and then it is gusseted on the side so this is just a great miscellaneous pouch that i can use in whatever bag i've got my standard travel wallet if you will for grab and go with the lanyard and zip id and then i have these and i think they're supposed to be for masks you know because we were in mask stuff when this came out it doesn't matter use stuff for what you use stuff for and i use it for not masks for other things one says wear me, one says wash me, so you can see where the intention was. It has a quick release loop, a pretty robust one, and you can take them apart or use them together. I'll put things in here, um, miscellaneous things. For a while I had some sun sleeves and um, I had a different kind of sun shirt. It has two sleeves and goes across the back, anyway. So some ways that I can use those, they go great in this bag or in the big bag. And that clearly is the end of this haul, <laughs> sorry. Um, but a lot of extra information in there. Hopefully that is of some interest to you. If not, please let me know down below and I'll keep them more honed and focused on straight up only the haul if that's what you prefer. But either way, let me know and I hope you're doing well. Have a great day. Happy spring. Um, see you soon. Bye for now.